the King James Bible, the second book of Samuel, chapter 21. Then there was a famine in the days of David, three years, year after year, and David inquired of the Lord, and the Lord answered, It is for Saul and for his bloody house, because he slew the Gibeonites. And the king called the Gibeonites and said unto them, Now that now the Gibeonites were not of the children of Israel, but of the remnant of the Amorites. And it is the children of Israel had sworn unto them, and Saul sought to slay them in the zeal of the children of Israel and Judah. Wherefore David said unto the Gibeonites, that sh What shall I do t for you? And wherewith shall I make the atonement with ye? Blessed inheritance of the Lord. And the Gibeonites said unto him, We will have no, we will have no silver nor gold for of Saul, nor of his house. Neither of us shalt thou kill any man in Israel. And he said, What ye shall say, that will I do for you. And he, they answered the king, The man that consumed us and devised against us that we should be destroyed from remaining in any of the coast of Israel. Let seven men of his sons be delivered unto us, and we will hang them upon, up unto the Lord of Geba of Saul, whom the Lord did choose. And the king said, I will give them. But the king spared Mephibosheth, the son of Jonathan, the son of Saul, because of the Lord's oath that was between them, between David and Jonathan, the son of Saul. But the king took the two sons of Rizpah, the daughter of Aiah, whom she bare unto Saul, Armoni and Mephibosheth and the five sons of Michael, the daughters of Saul, whom she brought up for Adriel, the son of Brazili, the Mahaholite. And he delivered them into the hands of the Gibeonites, and they hanged them in the, full, in the hill before the Lord. And they fell all seven together and were put to death in the days of harvest, in the first days in the beginning of the barley harvest. And Rizpah, the daughter of Aiah, took sackcloth and spread it for her upon the rock, and from the beginning of the harvest until the water dropped upon them out of the heart heaven, and suffered neither the birds of the air to rest on them by day, nor the beasts of the field by night. And it was told David that Rizpah, the daughter of Aiah, the concubine of Saul, had done. And David went and took the bones of Saul and the bones of Jonathan his son from the men of Jab. Beesh Gilead, which had stolen them from the street that Beth -sham, of Beth Sham, where the Philistines were hanged, where the Philistines had hanged them when the Philistines had slain Saul and Gilboa. And he brought up thence the bones of Saul and the bones of Jonathan his son, and they gathered the bones of them that were hanged. And the bones of Saul and Jonathan his son buried they in the country of Benjamin Zala in the sepulchre of Kish his father. And they performed all the king commanded, and after that God had was entreated for the land. Moreover, the Philistines had yet war with, the, with Israel, and David went down and his servants with him, and fought against the Philistines, and David waxed faint. And Ishbi Benob, which was of the sons of the giant, the weight of whose spear weighed three hundred shekels of brass in weight, he, being girded with a new sword, thought to have slain David. But Abishai, the son of Zeruiah, succored him and smote the Philistine and killed him. Then the men of David swear unto him, saying, Thou shalt, no more, thou shalt go no more out with us to battle, that thou quench not the light of Israel. And it came to pass after this that there was again a battle with the Philistines at Gob. Then Sebechai the Hashabite, slew Saph, which was of the sons of the giant. And there was a giant, and there again, and there was again a battle in Gob with the Philistines, where Elhan and the son of Jarorigim, a Bethlehemite, slew the brother of Goliath, the Gittite, the staff of whose spear was like a weaver's beam. And there was yet a battle at Gath, where was a man of great stature, and had every hand six fingers, and every foot six toes, four and twenty in number, and he also was born to the giant. And when he defiled Israel, defied Israel, Jonathan the son of Shemaiah, the brother of David, slew him. These four were born in, 
of born to the giant in Gath, and fell by the hand of David, and by the hand of his servants. Chapter twenty two. And it came, and David spake unto the Lord the words of the song in the day that the Lord had delivered him out of the hand of all of his enemies, and out of the hand of Saul. And he said, The Lord is my rock, and my fortress, and my deliverer. The God of my rock, in him will I trust. He is my shield, and the horn of my salvation, my high tower, and my refuge, my Savior, thou savest me from violence. I will call on the Lord, who is worthy to be praised, so shall I be saved from mine enemies. When the waves of death compassed me, the floods of ungodly men made me afra afraid. The sorrows of hell compassed me about, the snares of death prevented me. In my distress I call upon the Lord and cried to my God, and he did hear my voice out of his temple, and my cry did enter into his ears. Then the oath shook and trembled, the foundation of heaven moved and shook, because he was wroth. There went up a smoke out of his nostrils, the fire out of his mouth devoured, coals were kindled by it. He bowed the heavens also, and came down in darkness, and was under his feet. And he rode upon a cherub, and did fly, and it was seen upon the wings of the wind. And he made darkness pavilions round about him, dark waters, and thick clouds of the skies. Through the brightness before him were coals of fire kindled. The Lord thundered from heaven, and the Most High uttered his voice. And he sent out arrows, and scattered them, lightnings, and discomfited them. And the channels of the sea appeared, the foundations of the world were discovered, and the rebuking of the Lord at the blast of the breath of his nostrils. He sent from above, he took me, he drew me out of many waters, he delivered me from my strong enemy and from them that hated me, for they were too strong for me. They prevented me in the day of my calamity, but the Lord was my stay. He brought me forth also into a large place, he delivered me, because he delighted in me. The Lord rewarded me according to my righteousness, according to the cleanliness of my hands, hath he recompensed me. For I have kept the ways of the Lord, and have not wickedly departed from my God. For all this judgment were before me, and as for the statutes, I did not depart from them. I was also upright before him, and have kept myself from mine iniquity. Therefore the Lord hath recompensed me according to my righteousness, according to my cleanliness in his eyesight. With the, merciful, with the merciful thou wilt shew thyself merciful, and with the upright man thou sh wilt shew thyself upright. And with the, pure, with the pure thou wilt shew thyself pure, and with the forward thou wilt shew thyself unsavory. And the afflicted people thou, sh thou wilt save, but thine eyes were upon the haughty, and thou mayest bring them, that thou mayest bring them down. For thou art my lamp, O Lord, and the Lord will lighten my darkness. For... By thee I have run through a troop, by my, by my God have I leaped over a wall. As for God, his way is perfect, the word of the Lord is tried, he is a buckler to all them that trust in him. For who is God save the Lord, and who is a rock save our God? God is my strength and power, and he maketh my way per perfect. He maketh my feet like hinds feet, and setteth me upon my high places. He teacheth my hands to war, so that a bow of steel is broken in mine arms. The, thou hast also given me the shield of my salvation, and thy gentleness hath made me great. Thou hast changed, thou hast enlarged my steps under me, so that my feet did not slip. I have pursued my enemies and destroyed them, and turned not again until I had consumed them. And I, af and I had, have consumed them, and wounded them, and they could not that they could not arise, yea, they are fallen under my feet. For thou hast girded me with strength to battle, them that rose up against me hast thou subdued under me. Thou hast also given me necks of mine enemies, that I might destroy them that hate me. They looked, but, were, but there were none to save, even unto the Lord, but he answered them not. Then did I beat them as small as the dust of the earth, I did stamp as the might, as the mire of the street, and did spread them abroad. Thou also hast delivered me from the strivings of my people. Thou hast kept me from the head of the heathen, a people which I knew not shall serve me. Strangers shall submit themselves unto me as soon as they hear. They shall be obedient unto me. Strangers shall fall away, and they shall be afraid 
out of their close places. The Lord liveth, and blessed be my rock, that and exalteth be the God of the rock of my salvation. It is God that avengeth me, and that bringeth down the people under me, and that bringeth me forth from mine enemies, that also hast lifted me up on high above them that rose up against me. Thou hast delivered me from the violent man. Therefore I will give thanks unto thee, O Lord, among the heathen, and I will sing praises unto thy name. He is the tower of salvation for his king, and sheweth mercy to his anointed, unto David, and to his seed forevermore.